What's up? It's Jumani. Um, I'm making this video because I feel like I got to clear some things up uh, with my supporters and my followers, positive and negative. I need you more than you need me. I'm going to say that multiple times throughout this video because it's true. I need you more than you need me. As a content creator, influencer, vlogger, um, this is my job. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm gonna be coughing by the way too because I'm, I'm kind of I'm still sick I'm getting better but <clears throat> if I if I cough in the vlog it's just because I'm sick but I'm saying that because I know what kind of person I am I'm um and I know a lot of the things that I've said in previous videos I get emotional and I say things I had no business saying um you know I might I might talk as if I don't need people or I, I don't care about people I'm just very unconditional in a way where when I started being controversial, as in even before like going viral, when I when I when I was doing music, when I, I was doing music videos at Taco Bell, that's when I first started thinking outside the box. Right. That was a turning point in my life where I was going to do things independently. At least I felt like I don't need nobody. I'm going to figure it out on my own. And that attitude, <coughs> that attitude is not the best attitude to have when you start build, building, building like a community, you know, um, or at least trying to build a community. Um, I don't know how people really feel about me, um, but I know that there's people inspired by me. I know there's people that like me. I know there's people that want to see me win and progress and do better. And I do a bad job with keeping that, uh, those kind of people because I push people away. And um, it's not, what I'm trying to say is, um, ignore me in a sense. I do have a good heart, but I'm not going to, I'm also not going to claim to be a good person. Uh, I'm a selfish person. Um, I made a lot of selfish decisions. I want to take responsibility for that. Um, but I also want to make it clear that this is my job and I need you more than you need me, regardless of what I say. I made videos where I told people to unfollow me, unsubscribe, stop sending me donations. I don't, <clears throat> I don't mean, I don't really mean that. There's a part of me that I don't want to depend on anyone. I want to be independent, but I am, I, I do, I think we all have to depend on someone. For, you know what I'm saying? Don't We live in a society, you know, like somebody you know don't nobody do everything on their own but the moral of what i'm trying to say is like i get i get angry and emotional and um i i tend to do a bad job with um you know letting my letting my supporters know that i actually do appreciate them and I just feel different ways about certain things, whether if somebody's supporting me conditionally versus they're supporting me with the way I, I'm more comfortable with them supporting me. I just want to uh, just just let it be known if it's not known that I really do appreciate people that do support me because I've came a long way. And I remember starting from zero and not getting any support. And it was like that for a while. Until I got to the point where I was like, all right, man, I just I just started going crazy and started making poor decisions that got me to where I'm at now, which still can't say it was the right thing to do. But it, it's what I did. It's where I'm at. I got to deal with it now. Um, don't want to make this video too long, but I just want to make sure I say what I need to say. Um, I think I want people to not have expectations for me, you know. I would prefer if people just watch me just for the, just to watch, right? Because I don't want to disappoint nobody, especially people that see good in me and they want to see see me continue to do good. People don't want to see me gamble. It might sound crazy, it might it might not seem believable because my actions speak other words, but I don't want to gamble, bro. It's ruin my life. I am an addict, but you know, I Sometimes I, I like com emotionally, sometimes, yes, I want to gamble because gambling is the feeling. You know, I think when I was when I first started gambling, I was real delusional about it when I thought it was just about the money. Because when I first started gambling, I wasn't working. I think I was in school at the time. And then whatever. I just was like, oh, it's about the money. It was about the feeling. 
I like the feeling. It, I felt like, oh, I could get paid today. I could work. It was like I hated working and then waiting a week for a paycheck and then the paycheck not being enough. And then the gambling was kind of like, it just it just felt good if I won. But when I lost, I, I felt worse than what I did. So I know a lot of people don't want to see me do that. And I do it anyways. I mean, it's content. I mean, and then I, but then again, I do it off camera too. So it's not just content. Don't have any expectations for me is what I'm trying to say, because I'm going to disappoint you. And for the haters, poo, I mean, I need you too. I need y'all to watch me. I just asked, bro, for y'all trolling me though. Uh, can y'all can y'all can, can y'all like reduce that a little bit though? Cause I I need y'all too. Y'all you you push the algorithm. You know the haters is you know they sometimes the haters might sound crazy. Sometimes the haters are, are more valuable than the actual supporters. That sounds crazy, but it's true. You know that's why I took the controversial decision because the haters it's like it happens a lot faster. But the haters sometimes what you do it, it works against me where. Because you hate me so much or you dislike me so much that it, it makes people not want to like me, which that hurts, you know, and you know, it hurts. That's why you do it. Um, and I want to let my supporters know, like, I mean, make your own choices on whether or not if you want to support me or how you want to support me. Don't nobody have to support me unconditionally. I would like people for people to support me in that way. But, you know, you do what you want to do. Because I'm going to do what I want to do. So please do what you want to do. Honestly. You know, uh, I just, um, I, I, I really, I need, I need this to work for me. I don't, the working stuff, the work, I've tried it. It doesn't work for me. Um, so, you know, again, the title of this video is I need you more than you need me. Because I need to be a content creator for my survival Getting a job isn't going to work out for me. I'm just going to eventually crash out in reality. And, re and that might not mean crash out on the internet. I might just crash out in real life. Like I've been, I've been at that. <coughs> I've been at that point so many times in my life, you know, before going viral on the internet, it was just like, I didn't think I was going to survive. I needed a miracle. And that's where the idea of, you know, being a, uh, it's, it's so hard, bro. Cause I be caught. I'm like, do people really not understand what I'm talking about or am I just completely just delusional to people? But being a, I've been a gambler, I've been gambling for over a decade, right? I feel like I say this in every video, but started when I was 19. I'm currently 30. That's 10 years, 11 technically. But, you know, it once I got to 21, 22, that's when it really got bad. That's when I started working and I... 20, yeah, 21 is when I started working. I remember I started working at Taco Bell. It was the same Taco Bell I did a music video in, and I started losing paychecks. That's when things got... But before I started losing paychecks, I was selling everything. Like, I had my camera. I, I ain't gonna get into all of that. Like, this is like my mic... I, I had a microphone, right? I still have the microphone. It's like in a closet somewhere. But um, I was like all... I had $10,000 worth of equipment that like my computers, laptop, my... You know what I'm saying? Just as a content creator, I sold it all at the pawn shop. And that's how I that's how I was funding my gambling. And then it got to the point where I lost everything. And then I started uh um I'm losing train of thought. I started then I needed a job. So I started working at Taco Bell. Mind you, this is before I went viral, all of this stuff. And I'm losing paycheck after paycheck after paycheck. Then one job wasn't a good enough. Then I got a second job. I, I was working maintenance at a gym. So I'm working at Taco Bell. And then it just, it was just bad. It was bad. Mind you, I did that for years, years and years and years. And then it got to the, you know, I can't explain to you what that's like, but you can imagine that's pretty bad. Um, and that's, I'm not looking for sympathy or empathy. I'm just, I just want you to understand uh, where, how I got to my point. Not that that matters, right? Where I'm at, <coughs> where I'm at right now, <laughs> I need people to continue to watch me. I need, and for my supporters, I need I need as many of them as to continue to support me in whatever way is comfortable to you. It, it could be just watching my content. It could be leaving positive comments. It could be, you know, when you talk about me in public to other people, it's, you know, positive. It could be even donations. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be come off as like, I'm begging for donations because I'm not. I appreciate them. I, 
I can use them. I'm not gonna act like I don't want them because I do, but I, I I've never been the type of person to actually ex. I have no expectations for them. If they all if if no one ever sent me a donation today, I wouldn't. I don't have any expectations, so I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd be bummed out about it. I'd be like, damn, I ain't getting no donations, but. That's not how I plan on making my money. I plan on making my money through ads on YouTube. And then really, that's kind of really it. You know, I don't, that's why I need millions of views. That's why it's like, oh, that's why I needed to go viral. Cause it's like, in order to make money through ads, I need to get thousands. I need to, I need to be averaging a lot of, I don't want to lose track of what I'm saying, right? I need you more than you need me. That's the purpose of this. Um, and I just want y'all to know I do a bad job with, um, having healthy relationships. Um, and that, that also applies to my community, my following. Like, I, I don't feel like I have the best relationship with my followers, with my supporters. Um, nobody's going to agree with anyone about everything. I can't, I don't, ex I don't actually expect no one to agree with me about everything, but I guess I do get disappointed or I get angry because mind you, I'm one person and I got that. I don't want to say I got hundreds of supporters, right? But I also got thousands of followers. So it's like, I'm getting messages and comments that it's like, it just, sometimes it just feels like it's hard to know how to feel. It's hard to know what to believe. You know, I don't know who really supports me or how long are they going to support me? You know, is this going to fade out? I don't know, you know, I mean, it probably, I know it because it has faded out. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying, man, I need you more than you need me. I made this video a lot longer than what it should have been. But um, regardless on what I say, what I do, if you choose to continue to support me, just know I genuinely appreciate it. Um, even if I don't necessarily act like it, you know, act like it. I'm going to end the video. It's too long, but... I do need you more than you need me. And I appreciate everyone that continues to support me because um, I definitely need it.